Hey, Shalom, Mr. Shalom. Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rika Kudash. I want to give double honors to the elders and Apostle Great Millstone for bringing down 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elected of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever you go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, y'all. Hey, all praise to you, Yahweh Shem Hashem, for bringing us out again tonight on the highways and hedges, bro. It's always a joy and a pleasure to come out here and proclaim the, the, the word of truth, you know, and throughout the week, you know, make, uh, make you know, be used as a, as a vessel of Yahweh Shem Hashem, you know, uh, to bring out those epistles, you know, to be a, a part of the brotherhood, to actually believe in this 100% truth, you know, to understand that we've been called out of darkness into this modest light, you know, and uh, as I was meditating, you know, about this, uh, about the live camp tonight, and all the things that have taken place through it throughout the week, you know, what's going on now with this thing? It's, it's in the red, it's in the hot. Is it because of that car over there, making up all that noise? I don't think so. So lucky, man. Let me let me just bring this down just a little bit. I don't like it like that. I don't know. Cause ain't nothing, you know, ain't nothing worse than some some terrible distorted audio or some uh, too low audio. It's like a balance, you know. We really understand in this wicked as well. Ain't nothing gonna be perfect, bro. But Lord willing, we're gonna have that perfect understanding. <laughs> All praise to you, Yahweh Shemasha, for the perfecting of the saints. So, you know, let's get into it, bro. Just, you know, I don't know, just being thankful, man, to the, to, you know, to, just being thankful overall uh, because it's all, it's all coming together, man, by the will of Yahweh Shemashai because, you know, his word is not going out void and we understand that this is the spirit of the Lord, you know, for, for his name's sake, you know, and uh, about what happened, you know, through the, with the, like I was saying earlier, you know, with all, all the epistles that came out throughout the week, all the brothers are bringing out epistles continually to rebuke. You know, to to continue to exhort, uh, to to continue to edify, you know, the 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 flock, you know, the the uh, remnant, the hopeful elect, us. You know, it's it, it, we we getting more sharper, make getting coming closer to you. How about you, And it's it's just a quite it's a beautiful thing and it's a joy, but also at the same time, as we get closer and closer, as the stripper speaks about, you know, the house of Saul grows. Uh, Worse and worse, you know, uh, the two-thirds are getting worse and worse. You know, the, the rebellion is getting worse and worse. Esau is getting worse and worse. This whole wicked world is getting worse and worse. As we, you know, are getting closer and closer and, and praying more for the Lord to come and deliver us out of, this, out of this damn wicked world and all this thing. But everything else around us is getting ready for that, getting primed up for that judgment. Right? And we got, the, we got all the brothers that's doing their job, man. It's just a beautiful thing. I was watching uh, Mystery of the Kingdom earlier, you know, and I was just laughing, bro. I was, uh, I was all into it, man, because they was chicken. They were speaking about uh, the judgment of this kingdom, you know, and I started to think about, you know, not only is Yahweh Shemashah prepping us for the destruction of Babylon the Great, you know, but also for the kingdom to come as well, you know, because they were going into uh, dashing the babies up against the rock, against the stone, blah, you know, and I was thinking in my mind, yeah, that's right, pay her back double, you know, how, and they were speaking about how the spirit of the Lord, the anger of the Lord is going to be upon us to, 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 to execute this judgment upon these heathens. You know, and pay her back double for all the things that, they, that Esau has done to us, bro. Um, you know, and uh, the scripture came to my mind. You know, we always bring it out for Jake. Tell me, I pray thee, whoever perished being born innocent. But that's going to also, you know, take place in the kingdom of heaven with Esau ass. You know, when we're going we gonna to be fucking them up. Tell me, I pray thee, whoever, been, whoever perished being born innocent. Because Esau not born innocent. You know, they're going to be reincarnated with all them, all the wickedness that they've done on this side. So yeah, they're gonna get it, bro. So <laughs> just just meditating terror, meditating all these different meditating about all these different things. The eyes have not seen or ear heard all the wonderful things that the Lord got planned for them that love him, bro. So, you know, not only are we hoping, you know, to reign with Yahweh Shai for that thousand years, you know, to to avoid that second death and everything. It's just so much to look forward to, bro. So it is true, our light afflictions cannot compare. You know, of all the things that, that, you know, that the Lord has promised to them that love him. Roughly paraphrasing this again. You know, so, um, I was thinking about that, you know, from, from that live camp. And it was just beautiful to, to sit there and listen to the brothers, you know, bring out the scriptures. And, and really, you know, mysteries, if, if y'all don't know about mysteries of the kingdom, brother, the brother is profound. He go really deep into the scriptures, man. I mean, just, he, 
meditate on one scripture and get all down into the words and everything. It's beautiful, bro. The way he, the Lord put the spirit on that brother, man. I love it. All praises to you. How about Shema Shah? You know, all you brothers. Everybody's got a, their, you know, got a spirit. They got a gift, and they bring it out in a certain way. Everybody, every brother, man, is beautiful. Um, so yeah, one of, one of the other things I was thinking about through the spirit and power. How about Shema Shah? And that's how the Lord is making us holy and separate. You know, with this knowledge, with this truth, with this understanding. You know, we can see that when we rebuke, you know, make rebuke videos about these other pastors, uh, this plantation Christianity. Even those of the circumcision, you know, the two-thirds, you know, the children of Israel, that they, they even know they're Israelites. They may be in an Israelite group, but the Lord is still constantly making us separate and holy from even them. Because we understand all Israel is not Israel, bro. Wow, and I was thinking about that, being made holy, being made separate with, our, with, the, with the truth, you know. Thy word is truth, you know. We're going to we, we go get some scriptures, man. Let's just start now. Let's just start from now. Let's, let's, let's just start from now. Uh, hold on. That's right. Let's go to uh, John chapter 17, verse 17. Just, you know, through the Spirit, it came to my mind. John 17 and 17. I think we're going to use the Bible real quick. Let me put this over here. Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, open it up with John chapter 17 verse jump right in there at verse 17 it says uh, sanctify them through thy truth right wash them up clean them up get them because you know we're being made clean from the filth of the world from the from the spiritual fornication that was out there in the world uh, taking a part in being out there as Gentiles and you know out there running around didn't know no better. But th at that time, the Lord winked at our ignorance. But now he's commanded every man, all men, the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians to repent. He's commanded us to, rep to return to him. You know, get cleaned up, to get washed up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Why you got these Israelites just fighting words? No, no. <laughs> you know, you're trying to, hey, come here, man. Let me, let me, you know, sit your ass down. Listen. Be transformed by the renewal of your mind. And that's what... Shalom 7, I want to make that point again. I mean, that was, man, it was something going on last night, man. That spiritual warfare. Shalom 7 and 7. And he kept saying in his live, camp, his live stream last night, all I'm trying to do, man, <laughs> he was like, all I'm trying to do is bring out this word of truth, you know, to the brothers, telling them to continue in the faith, you know, telling them to be, you know, to get, 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 you know, get, get it together, to, to do you know to be doers of the word uh, you know he was just saying like we all was talking about exhorting each other to continue in the faith right to, to believe in the word of truth that's all we're talking about bro to continue to be washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth you know because uh, to live by the, the laws of life cover to cover and that's what we're doing exhorting one another uh, telling them that hey come and get to know get to know you how about Shema Shah through the through the precept through our precepts I get understanding therefore I hate every false way but then you know, he's, he's trying to say all these things. And on the comment board, you got Jake. <laughs> Why are you not on the highways and hedges? Why are you not on the cheap place of concourse? All kind of stupidness, man. Just coming up. You know? But what, what are we talking about over here? This is the book of John chapter 17, verse 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth, bro. Thy word is truth. The words of Yahweh Shema Shah is truth. So we've been washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth. That's why, you know, the scripture speaks about then shall they gonna return and, and discern between them that serve the Lord and them that serve him not. We're gonna come back and understand the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So that's what we're speaking about at this at this live camp tonight, about how the Lord is making us separate and holy. Because when someone else comes around, you know, yeah, we might give them a give them a, give them a couple of, you know, give them a, give them a chance, give them a shot. You know, if they be quiet, that's why the scripture says keep your foot. When they're coming to the house of the Lord, you know, not, don't give the testimony of fools because you don't know the evil that you're doing. Just just being a, a distraction or a disturbance or showing that you really don't believe or you don't understand. You know, just saying all kind of shit out your mouth that, you, you know, you don't you don't have like like the, like the brother was talking about. He's been out there on the highways and hedges for years. 
You know? He's not new to this. He's seeking out on his own salvation with fear and trembling, just like all of us. And we're all coming together to be washed and clean and baptized with his word of truth, coming together on one accord, coming together, being doers of the word, not hearers only, coming together as commanded of Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, before the decree brings forth, coming together in fear of, Yeh of the Lord, you know, and, and joy and peace and happiness. But then you got these it outsiders coming in, you know, and like I say, we might give them a chance, but hey, we're we going to know, bro, because the spirit bears witness that we are the children of Yahweh Shema Shai. Now, of course, that's, you know, that scripture is a, that's a very spiritual scripture because, okay, now the spirit bears witness that we're the children of the Lord, but then also at the same time, all Israel is not Israel. So you, we may understand that you're Israelite, but you're not, you're not a Galatians chapter 6 verse 16 Israelite, you know? Those that walk according to this rule, peace be on them. You're not, you know, the Israel of the Most High. You know, so we're looking at you like, how did you do it? Uh, let me see, how did you do it? First you put them on timeout, okay? When they come back, are they gonna are they gonna understand? Are they gonna continue being a ruckus? You know, they're gonna come continue being a demon. Are they gonna understand that they, they were put on timeout number one? You know? And if not, they gotta they gotta be blocked, you know, one or the other. Because the strippers say uh, after the first and second admonition, reject them knowing that they're a heretic, bro. You know, that goes that goes in in, in uh in the physical, right? If you're, you know, someone's on, on, uh, right, in, right in front of your face or someone's around you or someone's in your dwelling, you know, happen to be around you at, at work or in your daily life, you know, or passing by. But it also goes in the, uh, in the, on, the on the YouTube too, man. In, our, in the cyber world, should I say, you know? I, I don't know how to say how else to say it. And then you're on the unicorn too. Because that's where we meet at. That's where all come together, you know, this gospel being preached. So it, it's both ways, you know. So we understand who serves the Lord and who serves them not. And we're like, oh, the Lord told us, can two walk together unless they be agreed, right? Be not unequally yoked with non-believers. All these things are a part of uh, being doers of the word, not hearers only. All these, all these laws of life we're applying to our, our lives, you know. We, 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 we recognize, bro, and we, we, we live by these words. We stand by these words. And we actually do these words. So when you got, you got Israelites coming around and they just can't get it, we got to move on. You know, we, we just can't get it. We got to got to reject them. We got to mark them that cause division. You know, and that's, those are the things that's been going on lately. You know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shah. Well, not lately, should I say. It's always been happening since we all come, come to the understanding of the truth. You know, one way or the other. There's rebukes that's been going out on these other Israelite camps, but it's getting more and more intense. It's getting more and more because, you know, the, the gates of mercy, they're not going to stay open forever, bro. Okay? The scripture speaks about the angels saying, hey, um, hold back the, let's go, let's go get that. Hold back the winds until the servants are sealed. Something, uh, roughly paraphrasing, let me go get it real quick. Because this is what this is going on, going, going into, bro. Uh, That's right. Revelation chapter is Revelation chapter seven verse one. Hold on, let me go get it in the Bible here, in the in the in the, in the hard copy here. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold on to John seventeen. Probably gonna come back to that. Revelation seven and one. It says, and at the top it says, the mark of, of Yahweh Shemashah's servant right there. It says, and after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea right hey it's saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads bro 
And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel, bro. Okay? 144,000 of all, of what? Wait a minute. Doesn't that break down one of them strongholds of that plantation Christianity? Talking about all, any, anybody? No. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of who? Children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, bro. You know, that, that brings me to, uh, that makes me want to go get uh, Ezekiel. That makes you want to go get Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark. Right? This is what's going on right now, man. What there's another scripture that comes up in my mind right there through, you know, precept upon precept. Uh let me let me go, let me go, I'm gonna type it up here so I don't forget it. Okay, so like it, bro. What the fuck? Got damn niggas over there making up all that damn noise and shit. Somebody, I think somebody's car broke down or something shit over there. Look, this is a book. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Right? And Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Okay, we're talking about the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Right? And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that brings us to... Uh, see, I got I got these words written down right here that I wanted to talk about. One of them was talking about being holy. We're being called, being called out of darkness into this mother's life, being made separate and sanctified, being clean and being washed, while everybody else is just like we talked about earlier, waxing worse and worse. You know, marinating up in their sins. But the Lord got us over here. You know, uh, and I want to get those scriptures, man. I want to bring it out. Oh, happy Israel are we for the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Shemashah are made known to us. Right? So the Lord got us coming over here, repenting with our whole heart, you know. You know, been having that broken heart and contrite spirit, understanding, you know, what has happened in the past, that we, that we the reincarnation is real, believing in his word, man. The Lord did this to us, brothers and sisters, okay? So, you know, he he's doing this, he's doing this to us. The, this, the, this the Lord's spirit on us, man. For his name's sake. Prophecy got to be fulfilled. Somebody got to fulfill it. And thank, pre, please, please, Yahweh bless you, You know, to take not the Holy Spirit away from us, man. You know? So once, you know, that's one of the words. And the other word that I had written down right here was hate. You know, this world would tell you that the word hate is some kind of bad, just so, the worst fucking thing ever. You know, that no, shh, shh, don't you be talking about hating. You know, they make a joke of it. Don't you be hating? All kind of stuff. You know, like, like it's not, a, like, you know, like, the, 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 that's the devil, too. The deceiver. They got words in, in the vocabulary, in the English language, that they is it, it criminalized. Like, uh, uh, um, what's that, what's the word? Um, uh, conspiracy theories and stuff. You know, they done put words out there, they can put algorithm out there that made us, Afraid to say certain words like the M-A-R-K, C-H-I-P, you know, because we're, we're nothing but slaves. We understand that now. You can't even damn talk properly in this plan, damn place without being, you know, worried about being scrutinized or, or, or fuck with, you know. So one of the other words was hate. You know, because you got this, these people that's not being made separate and not being made holy that have no understanding. So they, they use these certain words, you know, to try to make it make the make this make the scripture, make the word of the Lord offensive, you know? Because they, they want to promote this fake ass love. But we understand now that love is the keeping of commandments. Yeah, but Shemash say, if you love me, keep my commandments. You know? This is you know, this is love that you keep his commandments, bro. And his commandments are not grievous. Okay? Roughly paraphrasing, my man. No, but they, they, this world, and you know what made me think about that word hate, you know, that, that, that we have written down, 
is that scripture we just read in the book of Ezekiel. Abomination. Right? Let's go back to it. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark of the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of. Right. We're sighing and we're crying, bro. For all the things, for all the abominations. Abomination goes back to the word hate. All the things that the Lord hates. You know, because we don't, what the scripture say, do not hate them that hate thee, O Lord. And I'm not grieved with them that grieve thee. Roughly paraphrasing, you know. You know, so the things that the Lord hate, we hate. Because we, we come back and understand now. Good and evil. Right? Like this, that dude that just walked by a while ago, man. I rebuked his ass. Just one of them effeminate ass niggas, man. Just, I, we hate it. How about Shemashah said they're not going to enter into the kingdom of heaven? Nor effeminate. You know, let's go get that scripture, man, to back it up real quick. But these are the things that the Lord hate. So, we're, you know, we're sighing and crying. So they, and they, they came from uh, Revelation chapter 7, verse 1. You know, hurt not the earth, nor the seed, nor the tree, to the, to the, to the, to the service of the Lord are sealed. And set a mark of the men that, that, that sign and cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst of heaven. And that's what we're doing coming out here on the highways and hedges, proclaiming this word of truth. You know? And let's let's read the rest of it before we just we're gonna, we're gonna move on, okay? Uh, and to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have pity, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. That mark of exemption, bro. And began in my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house, right? They set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that signed and cry. Okay? For all the abominations that be done in the midst of. And uh, there's a scripture. I got pulled up over here. It's over here. Look, and this is spiritual, bro. This is spiritual right here. Every time I bring this scripture out, I always make mention of it that it's very spiritual. Uh, because it's, it's 444. Which which equals mercy, you know, four 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 uh, stands uh, equals mercy, bro. Um, this is uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter four four verse four forty four verse four Jeremiah forty four verse four. It says, how, "How be it? I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising and early, and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Don't do it." You've been rebuked. You've been admonished. You know. You've been begged, Jake. You got like we did that 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 uh, that epistle this morning about that pastor talking about there's no prophets. You know, while while he stands so proudly in his suit and tie and shit, being all enthralled with the with the cares and affairs of this life, loving up all all on, on his damn enemy that will not hear the word of the Lord. Don't you know the Lord? Hey. The mercy. This is the mercy. That's why the scripture in the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 speaks about let not mercy and truth forsake thee, bro. The Lord has blessed us to make us separate and holy in these last days. We've been called out of that darkness into this marvelous light. And we're standing as that light of Yahweh by Shema Shah saying, these are the words of the Lord, bro. The Lord has come. He's, he, this place is, you know, he told us to come out here and condemn this wicked ass world. Shake the hand so they may go in the gates of the nobles. Esau, this is the end of your kingdom. Your rulership is over. There's nothing you're going to be, you can't stop it. You can't do nothing about it. You're living out the prophecies. Your will is not your own. And to the children of Israel, you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and American Indians, the Lord, Yahweh Shemachi, commanded all y'all to repent. You know, he with an ear, let him hear. But the Lord has blessed us to call us to, to make us separate and holy from all that. You know, and man, Lord willing, we're holding on. Like the, like the brother said last night. You know? That we are, you know, definitely uh, leaning that we are part of the elect number, bro. We, you know, because we have that hope of salvation. We, there's nowhere else for us to go, bro. So we, we, that's it. This is it for us. This is it for us. We have nothing else but this truth, but, but to believe this word of truth, bro. That's all we got, man. So we're praying and hoping and praying, you know, more than not to be a part of that number, okay? Period. Serious. So, Jeremiah 444. 
44 verse 4. Howbeit I send unto you all my servants the prophets, saying, rising early, Salaki, and sending them, saying, Oh, do not do this abominable thing that I hate. But they hearken not. They hearken not. They didn't listen. Because this word is only for the 144, hopefully, like, and one third of Israel. The great multitude is going to hear these words, believe them, repent, and be healed. But they hearken not, nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness, to burn nor incense unto other gods. Right, these, these, these pastors we brought up this morning, still running around here, worshiping a false god and a false idol, so called named JC, up in these damn churches, even though we done told them. You know, they, they, instead of them, because they, they can't get it, bro. It's, it's you know, this, we understand all the, that's the balance of understanding the word of the Lord. The, the, no, no, the, you know, even David, King David said, let their table become a snare, bro. Let's go get that scripture. But I wanted to get that other, that first, I think it was in, uh, what was it, 1 Corinthians 6, 9? Let me see. All right, this is what this is what I want to bring out right now. When I was talking about that guy that walked down the damn street, and all of, all of these bug outs, these non-believers that come up on the comment board or wherever they may be, because they're not here, you know, under this wise counsel of the elders, apostle, great millstone with that hundred percent truth. We got so many Israelite camps and groups out there that's just going off, and they would not hearken to the voice of the Lord, like we just read in Jeremiah chapter. 444. Let's read it one more time. Do I still got a bookmark? I got a bookmark. Let's read it one more time. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, verse 4. It says, Howbeit I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets. You know? Rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not, do not, oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate, bro. You know, like, like once again, they always preaching about love, but the Lord talks about hate as well as love. You know, He said, "Are not my ways equal and your ways unequal?" You know, if you return, if you turn from your wicked ways, you're gonna save your life. You know, I've already told you what to do. I've sent you my prophets. Now you have no cloak for your sin. Plain. Now I want to go get that. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah? Once again, are not the ways of the Lord equal? It's, it's plain right here. And the Lord, you know, once again, happy Israel are we for the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Shemashah and made known to us. The Lord has, has told us, has showed us a way that the straight to enter ye in at the straight gate. You know, no man comes to the Father. It, Except by Yahweh Shemashah, there's only one way, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one understanding, the perfecting of the saints. You know, being that separate, holy, coming back, being that separate, holy, holy vine. It says at the top right here, at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, it says, The wicked will not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah. Then it goes on, verse 9, it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah? It says, Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, you know what I'm saying? That's spiritual idolatry. Nor idolaters. You know, you, you over here, you know, uh, the Lord said, if you cannot forsake all, you cannot be my disciples. You got uh, Israelites out here, you know, looking, putting themselves up on a pedestal. Look at me, I'm general such and such. You know, got the money. Got Israelites out here making videos about money, money, dollar, dollar, dollar bills, y'all. You know, all this idolatry. Got your woman up on the pedestal. Look at my baby. I sent her down there to get some new cheeks last week. That queen of heaven spirit. On and on and on. Birthdays. It never stops here in Babylon the Great, bro. That's do as thou wilt spirit. You know, but once again, how about Shemashah is making us separate, making us holy, washing us up, giving us this understanding, giving us the spirit of truth, you know, and understanding the spirit of error. Right? So, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashah, be not deceived, neither fornicators, 
no idolaters, no adulterers, okay, no effeminate, no abusers of themselves with mankind, okay, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashi, bro. And such were some of you. Woo! Such were some of you. That's right, man. We're all out there. We all fall short of the kingdom of Yahweh Shemashi. And that's why we need to be covered by the blood of the Lamb, the one true living God. Not no false God and no false idol, so called named JC either. You know? Or no Buddha or no Allah. Or even, what's that other guy name that the Rastafarian people love so much? You know what I'm talking about? What's that, what's that guy name? I can't remember the name. Holly Selassie. You know? Just on and on. Pure wickedness. It says, and such were some of you. That's right, because the Lord, once again, had called us out of that darkness into this marvelous light. And such were some of you. But ye are washed. What? Bam! See, that's the spirit, man. That's what we're talking about. Being washed and clean. Thy word is truth. Men made separate, men made holy, bro. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shah. And Lord willing, we're going to endure to the end, brothers and sisters. You know? I'm serious, man. It's not like being all that, being proud or boastful, thinking that we got it or we already in the kingdom or nothing like that. No. We got to continue. He that endure to the end, the, shame, the same shall be saved. And it's not easy, bro. And ain't, you know, we all have our battles and stuff. We have our good and bad days and stuff. It ain't easy, bro. But, man, we pray. Pray with the Lord, the Lord, you know, following the commandments. Following what the Lord told us to do. Pray, pray with all kind of prayer. Pray without ceasing. Understanding that our help comes from the Lord. Understanding that we're just nothing but some filthy rags over here. You know, not worthy. But we're praying to the Lord and asking the Lord to have mercy on us, man. Every day. Repenting every day, bro. And the strippers say we're saved by hope. We have that hope. Okay? So once again, it says, And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, and by the Spirit of our God. Okay? Ye are justified. Let me get it again. It says, But such were some of you, but ye are washed. But ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of Yahweh Shemashah and by the Spirit of our God. That's right, man. Justified, sanctified, washed by the Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah. Now I want to go back to where we were before and going back to the, to the first scripture we brought out, which is John 17 and 17. It says, sanctify them, wash them up, clean them up through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth, bro. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one way. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Neither I pray for them alone, but for them also that shall believe on me through their word. You know? Believing on Yahweh Shema Shah through the word. The word made flesh. And that's the brothers of the of the kingdom was bringing out. You know, uh, we bring it out all the time, man. He that believeth on me is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. That's right, because toward the end of their live camp, they went into the uh, great sacrifice of Yahweh Shemasha. You know, and I was thinking about that scripture, uh, let the multitude that perish that was born in vain. You know, they were, talk they were talking about how the body is made up of all this fat, you know, how it's going to burn so good, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Those brothers be going in there, man. All praise to you. How about Shema Shah for the Spirit? And to know, man, to know these things, brothers and sisters. It's beautiful to know them, to believe them, to have faith in these words. But once again, this is separate. This is, this is knowledge that the world cannot receive, the Holy Spirit of truth that the world cannot receive. Some of these things that we speak about are offensive to these people, bro. Like even the word hate, they're like now, now. We're gonna go. We're gonna go get it in a minute. I got it pulled up in the etymology of the word hate. It just means to, to not like something a lot. I mean, you really don't like it. Like when I was, when I was young, I used to hate squash. Uh huh. Like ugh, 
I still kind of hate bananas. I can tolerate them a little bit now, though, but I really don't like them. I mean, I don't. The smell, I can tolerate them, but I don't like them. You know what I'm saying? Because my mom used to eat a lot of bananas when I was in their stomach, they told me. So when I see one now, it almost makes me, when I eat, like, if I eat one and it's mushy, I don't eat it, but you know, but I'm saying I've done it and it almost made me want to throw up. That's how, you know, just some certain things like, bleh, bleh, bleh. And when it comes to wickedness, we hate it. But they're trying to tell us in this wicked world that you're not supposed to hate shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They hate us, but we're not, you know, Esau hates us. They try to put on a mask and pretend like they don't, but it shows the way they have treated us. We're under the, you know, we're under, of course we're under the curses, and of course they're our enemy, but they actually genuinely hate us because they're made to hate us. They're made to be our enemies. I remember did doing that epistle a while back. It was that it was based off of that um, movie. Unbreakable with uh, with uh, Samuel L. Jackson and uh, Bruce Willis, I think. And uh, you remember Bruce Willis had those had found out that he was un he was unbreakable. He was uh, he was in that, that train wreck. And later on in the movie, you know, he found out through the help of Mr. Glass, which is Samuel L. Jackson, that he was invincible. You know, his uh, weakness was water. You know, he could drown. And the flip side was Samuel L. Jackson's character was breakable. You know, he, they called him Mr. Glass. He could, if he fall down, he could break his damn arms and shit. Break his body up in two or three places. You guys know the movie. But anyway, in that movie, toward the end, when Bruce Willis discovered that Samuel L. Jackson was actually the guy that had went around the world looking for him, looking for his opposite, Someone that was invincible, and in doing so, he created all this havoc on the earth. He created uh, the, the the train, the exact same train crash that Bruce Willis was in to find out if there was anybody in there that could survive the crash, that they wouldn't get touched, and that's how he found him. You know, he also did a lot of other bombings and stuff all around. You know, uh, and at that point, Bruce Willis was like, oh, "I can't believe it," you know, and he walked out of the room all flabbergasted and shit. And Samuel, Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson was following him, like, now I get it. I'm not a mistake. You know, he's, you know, he's in the wheelchair, so he's doing like this. You know, I get it. I'm not a mistake. And he's like, uh, now we know who you are. Now we know who I am, like that. You know, and just the same way with us, Jacob and Esau. Now we know who we are, the children of Israel, the Lord's chosen people. And now we know who Esau is, the devil that the Bible speaks of, you know, the wicked, you know, the wicked, bro, choose another devil. So I want to go, what was going, what we going to do? I kind of lost, did I, I was going somewhere, but okay. So yeah, once again, we're being made separate and holy, man. Lord willing, we're going to endure to the end. The Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, has told us, let's go get it in the book of, uh, so I'm just not yapping up here. I think it's in Revelations uh, 3 and, and 11, maybe. Yeah. Revelation chapter 3, verse 11, it says, Behold, I come quickly. So, you know, the Lord has blessed us. He's, hey, he's, He's, he's prepping us. He's getting us ready. What does Shepherd say in the book of uh, Amos? And you know, of course, of course we got to bring out that uh, Zephaniah real quick too. Hold on, let me grab that. I got it right. See, I see it right here, but I want that Amos real quick. Where's Amos, man? Come on. There it is. Do I have enough fingers? Yeah, put that finger there. 
Amos 3 and uh, let's start at 3. Can, uh, can two walk together except they be agreed? No. And it goes into this being made separate, being made holy. Coming back and obeying the laws of Yahweh Shemashai. Okay? So can two walk together except they be agreed? Will a lion roar in the forest when he have no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he had taken nothing? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where, the, where no gin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet, here we go, this is the point we want to make right here. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And we're blowing that trumpet right now. You know, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show thy, peop thy people their sins in the house of Jacob their transgressions. Roughly paraphrasing. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Yeah, we're telling them, hey, y'all going off. Hey, telling you that we've been lied to. And Yahweh Shema Shah said, least you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So you been, you have no cloak for your sins. So when this shit hit fan, when shit hit fan, okay? So look, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? I know when we heard this truth, we was afraid, weren't we? We were like, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me that we went in the transatlantic slave trade? The Lord did that to us? You know? Because these, these damn devils have told us the whole time. What they say it was? What did they say it was? What they, how, how, does it, how does that thing go? Um... Shit, they got some kind of word for it, like, like, uh, not, not, uh, shit, that's a word for it. They try to use, like, like, only the strong survive or no, um, destiny, some kind of destiny or some shit, like it's meant to be. You know, yeah, it was meant to be because the Lord declared it from the, I, I can't remember the name, uh, maybe Lord willing, I'll, I'll, it'll come back to me in a minute, but there's a, there's a word they, 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 they say. Something about some destiny or some shit like that. Like it, it's supposed to make it okay. What happened to what they've done to us. But no, they took it a step too far. We yet this day in our captivity. They still hasn't told, haven't told us that we're the Israelites. But yet they take, they take all of our hard money and shit. You know, we're subject to payments. And they send this shit over there to the small hats. You know what I'm saying? As if they're us. But we still oppress. They put the drugs and shit, break up our neighborhoods, put the, put the drugs and guns in our neighborhood and shit, keep us at the bottom of society. Nigga can't even get a damn stove in his own damn neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I, I know we are under the curses, bro, but when we heard these things, when we heard these things, bro, the answers, the Lord said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. We're like, what? Wait a minute. So now you're afraid of the Lord. That righteous fear. You know, that, that, that healthy fear. And then you're going to come back to the Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. You know, we, I didn't really, I didn't understand, but now we get it. You know what I'm saying, bro? And that's what we're telling these knucklehead children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, but they would not turn from their wickedness as the strip proclaimed. They would not be mindful of the scourges, all the whoopings and the beatings that they, they've taken and still are taken. They still will not turn from their wickedness. But the Lord is blessing us to come back to rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our abilities. Also, understand that we're in this carnal flesh, yes. We're going to be going off, yes. But you know what? We're going to be repenting. We're going we're gonna to try, bro, to the best of our abilities. We're going to pray. We're going to hope. We're going to be doers of the word, not hearers only. We're going to believe. And that's, it's not of us. It's for his name's sake, bro. And it's a, it's a beautiful understanding. So come on, let's, let's get this. So hey, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people will not be afraid, bro? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? Surely the Lord God would do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants and prophets. Right, the Lord told us all about what's going to happen. So we'll be on one accord with him when this shit take place. So we're not all jumping up, being all sad and shit. Oh, please don't hurt them. They're, don't forget they're Israelites too. No, they got to go. Why? Because they won't, they won't repent. They won't turn away from their wickedness. 
They want, they love Esau. They love this wicked ass kingdom. But we're crying inside for the abomination to be done in the midst thereof, ain't we? You know, as we read about earlier. Set a mark on the foreheads of the men that sign the cry for all the abominations, all the things that the Lord hate. And the, the things that we hate, we come to hate too, because now we know better. You know, eat crab, shrimp, pork, and lobster, and all these things. Fucking up our own body. Commit adultery. You know, your, 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 own, your brother, your neighbor. Fucking with your neighbor's wife, bro. You know, as if you would like that to happen to you. The heartbreak. You know, all this shit, man. Ugh. We hate these things now. And we understand. We understand good and evil now, bro. We can't wait for the kingdom of heaven. So we long for righteousness now, bro. So when we heard this word of truth, we're being made separate and holy. From this world. From that thinking, that way of the whole, the way of thinking, we're being reborn. Being transformed by the renewing of our mind. You know? Romans chapter 12, verse 2. So look, this is the book of Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, I desire. Once again, going into that, that separate. It, it says gather yourselves together. Everybody else is out there. Everybody else is all over here. They're all over there. They're all down there. They're up there somewhere. But you gather together. This small sanctuary on one accord, having the same mind. Gather together. Yay, what we just read, can two walk together unless they be agreed? No, so get, get the hell away from around us. Be, un, be not unequally yoked with non-believers. You know? Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desire. Right? Them that walk according to this rule, peace be on them. All Israel is not Israel. So, hey, if you're not coming, coming back, because the, the, the kingdom is within us, that nation is being built, that third temple. Because what does Scripture say? Uh, uh, if if you let's go let's go get it, man. You know, uh, roughly paraphrasing, all these other Israelites out here that's going off. Let's just say they looked at as a Gentile. They're still gent in that Gentile state of mind. They're still a heathen. And we're gonna get that scripture in a minute. Okay, that's all it is. So the children of Israel, the, the 144 hopeful elect and one third of Israel, we're returning to our true heritage, to our being Israelites, being the Lord's people, that noble vine. You know, being covered by the blood. You know, uh, our sins being blotted out. We crying out, Abba Father. That uh, mediator. To, 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 so we can come back, bro. But but not the two-thirds. They're still out there. You know? they they're, Their wounds have not been healed, mollified. They're still out. Let's go get that scripture, man, real quick. And I think we're going to read it off the phone. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 17. Uh, we're going we're gonna to jump back. Let's jump back to uh, 15. Matthew, chapter 18, verse 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee. You know? They're doing things that we hate. They're th doing things that the Lord hates. And we're telling them about their self. The Lord said, you're not going to make it in the kingdom of heaven if you keep doing the shit that he hates. Oh, please don't do this abominable thing that I hate. You know, these are the words of the Lord, bro. So, moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go tell it to him. Go tell him his faults between him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Right. You know, go tell it to him. But if he will not hear thee, Hey, the Lord said we should repent and come back. You know, we're the children of Israel. We're not just some niggas out here. Everybody done heard about this truth. But if we will not hear thee, then take it, take with thee two, one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Right? You got these electronic epistles. Being preached on the four corners of the earth. You know? Brothers are uh, uh, bringing out certain scenarios of these two-thirds. You know, Jakes and women going off this way or that way. 
You know, people look at it as entertainment, but they would not repent. You get, you know, you got Israelites out here telling uh, Esau to lick their boots and stuff. We rebuke them, tell them, you know, that's not what it's all about, bro. But they would not repent. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. There's only one name under heaven that you must call on to be saved. Christ, Christ, Christ. They will not repent. And if you, if he shall not neglect, if he shall neglect to hear them, then tell it to the church. But if he, if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a and a publican. That's plain, ain't that plain? Cause you how about Shema Shai? What's that scripture? Uh, Lord ain't coming back to save no damn heathen. He's coming back to gather his elect from the four winds of the earth. That great multitude. The one third. You know? Exactly, man. And you know, it's, it's a beautiful how these precept, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, they just, it's a continual cycle and how they just continue to roll around and connect and it's a perfect understanding. It's beautiful, bro. Uh, this is the book of Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. You know, because uh, bringing out this scripture right here makes me think about the scripture of the wedding feast. And, and, the, and the king came in and said, friend, why cometh in hither? Without a wedding garment, what the what you what you got on? And he was speechless, you know. The scripture speaks about how the bride adorned herself and made herself ready. Isaiah chapter fifty-two speaks about awake, awake, put on thy put on thy strength, put on thy beautiful garments, put on this truth, this understanding, being washed and clean and baptized with this word of truth, man. Get it ready for the return of the King, baby. You know we're being made separate and holy. We're being washed up and cleaned up, put the, the garments on, the beautiful outfits and the, you know, that, that, oh man. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. Let me click it. And it shall come to pass, prophecy, future prophecy. And you know, this goes back into what Mysteries of the Kingdom was speaking about at the, at the closing of their live camp. Talking about how the, the bodies, the human body, Got all this fat and grease in it, how it's gonna burn so good, bro. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children, and all such are clothed with strange apparel, bro. Clothed with strange apparel. You didn't you didn't come and sit at the council of the Lord, you know? You didn't come and get the understanding of the Lord who the you didn't come and seek the Lord's face and find out who he was and put on the elect. No, you, you still got on a strength, these garments of the world. You know, the Lord, what does the scripture say? Um, we have not received the spirit of the world, but we see, received the spirit of the Lord, the one true living God, bro. You know what I'm saying? Once again, going back into being made separate and holy, bro. You know? Being made separate and holy. So, going back to, uh, we had Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. Held down. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Right. The Lord is coming back. What you think we out here for? You think we out here just talking shit? Huh? You think we out here just all of a sudden one day woke up, you know what? I want to go out there and preach word. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, 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 bro. No, the Lord got us out here on commission. He got us out here doing this, man. You know, fulfilling that prophecy. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached on all. Uh, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And what then shall the end come, baby? You know that we're looking for that. We're waiting on that. We're hoping for that to get the hell out of this wicked ass, funky, nasty ass place. Hell, man, bro. When, when, hey, man, when you. When the Lord put a few brothers together, man, and through the Spirit, they start talking about the kingdom of heaven and all the beautiful riches and understanding, you know, with the understanding that they have through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shah and the teachers and the teachings of the Elder Apostle Great Millstone, it's, it's music to the ear, bro. If you, you know, sometimes you, you can stumble upon a, a beautiful video, edifying, exhorting, 
and they're just talking about the kingdom of heaven and all the wonderful riches that we're going to receive and just it's mind-blowing and you know and scripture even tells us you can't even really perceive it mine have eyes have not seen nor ear heard all the wonderful things that the lord had planned for them that love him bro you know like uh, what the brother was speaking about today uh, how we're gonna be beating the heathen with a rod of iron and shit you know and then uh the brother say uh it's not like we're gonna be sitting around all day long and in the kingdom of heaven that's all we're thinking about no we're gonna have other heathens to beat the motherfucking ass you know just like we have like there's straw bosses here you know you might have the boss boss the ceo of a company or something but then he got a lot of little small bosses that make sure the work get done. He's he out having a good time some motherfucking where. Every now and then he might stroll through the company and just look around and, you know, be like, yeah, whoop that ass some over there, you know? So, it's just going to be beautiful, man. Just, uh, I don't know, man. It's going to be it's so much, so much hope, you know, that we have. Well, the scripture tells us. You know, in that Numbers, uh, Balaam speaks about who can who can curse who the Lord has blessed, and uh, let me die the death of a, a, a you know and be like an Israelite in the kingdom. You know, uh, in my reincarnation, you know, he was like, I hope I can be an Israelite because they're gonna be blessed, bro. Their end's gonna be great, man. You know, and I was thinking about man. I think I keep thinking about that. You know, I thought about it in the shower this morning, and when I think about it, the reality that our lives about to change, my man. It's just, it's it's uh, you know, it's a true blessing, bro. Just so thankful for this, man. And you know, uh, the stripper coming to mind, you know. Uh, I can only think about the last little bit of it, but it's, I think it's in the book of Hebrews. Uh, with patience, wait for it. That I'm, I'm thinking about with patience, wait for it. Um, oh, we look not at the things that are seen, for the things that are seen are temporal, but the things that are eternal. Uh, listen, let me go find it real quick. But are not seen, you know. Um, oh, is, is it in Corinthians? I'm, maybe I'm thinking about another scripture. But this is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. It says, while we look not at the things which are seen. Like, we, we brought this up the other day. We're not looking at the things that are seen. All this thing right all around us. All this carnality. You know, all these jakes and stuff. You know, all this. Uh, we, talk, we talked about this when we talked about the uh, Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, is going to be destroyed. While we look not at the things which are seen, all these cities, you know, with all their lights and bright lights and, and uh, big cities and stuff, you know, but at the things which are not seen, you know, because where there's, there's no vision, the people perish, the kingdom of heaven. We're looking for things that are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. All this shit is temporary, okay? But the things which are not seen are eternal. That's what we're talking about, man. The things that are not seen are eternal. And I want to grab that other scripture about being patient and just waiting on it, okay? Now, y'all. Yes, sir, bro. Okay, it's in, it was in Romans. Romans chapter 8, verse 25. But if we hope for that which, is, which we see not, then do with it with let me I want to go back. Let me see what's back over here. Man. Hold on, bro. I want to take I want to take a sip of water on this on this one right here. Because this is what we're talking about. That's that hope of salvation. That's holy, you know, that's separate. The Lord has given us this gift of faith. Which also separates us and makes us holy. Because everybody ain't got this gift. Everybody didn't receive the, the uh, Holy Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. You know what I'm saying? So we are saved by hope. This gift that the Lord has given us. It says, for we are saved by hope. We are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. 
For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for it? Hope for. Uh, but if we hope for that we see not, then do it with patience. Wait for it. So yeah. That's why we're speaking. That's why we got this scripture right here. Pulled up in Revelation chapter 3 verse 11 that I have yet to finish. Let's go finish it now. Revelation chapter 3 verse 11. But behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou have that no man take thy crown. Right. You know, hold on to this truth. Hold on to this faith. You know, endure to the end, man, Lord willing. And we're crying and, and praying to the Lord that he put the spirit on us to do this. Because it's not of our own will, you know. And that's the humbleness of mind that we should have as well. To know that it's not of us. To know that all things, our strength coming from the Lord. Our help coming from Yahweh Shema Shai and everything. He's the Father of Spirit, so bro. You know, that's, that, that, that's not being puffed up and all this shit like the world teaches you to do. Also, not to be uh, trusting in man like the world teaches you to do. But trust in every word of Yahweh Shema Shai. So when the, when the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, tells us, tells us to enter ye into the straight gate, we do that. When the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, tell us uh, that he's going to give her passage according to our own heart that's going to fill us with knowledge, I will get thee to the great men, for they have known the way of Yahweh Shema Shai. We're going to get to the great men. Starting with the elder apostle Great Millstone, with 100% truth, and all the brothers on that umbrella, who have known the way of Yahweh Shema Shai, bro. You know what I'm saying? Plain! Cause why? Yahweh Shema Shah said, Seek my face. How are you gonna do that? Unless some man should teach us. Plain! Then the Lord Yahweh Shema Shah said, Seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. How are you gonna do that? By following the examples of the men that walk before us, bro. Plain! So once again, being made separate and holy. Because the scripture said, I have not shown this to all men, but, but to thee and a few like thee, bro. The, the evidence is right there, stacked up so beautifully. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shah, bro. So all of this, you know, we're saying all these things to say, the things that we always say, to continue to say. Flee ye out of the midst of Babylon. That's the, uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 6. Flee ye out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. You know? This place is about to be destroyed, so get your mind right. I also want to go get uh, Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23. And I think we're going to close it out on this. Jeremiah 9, 23. I love this scripture, man. I remember, you know... Certain scriptures you get, you, 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 uh, you know, they, you know, it's just, it's just fits right into that puzzle. And it's so pronounced in the doctrine, okay? And this is Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23. It says, it says, the Lord will bring justice at the top. And, you know, that's what we're talking about, man. The Lord will bring justice because... We're, we seek a better kingdom. You know, we're, we're waiting on that kingdom where it dwelleth righteousness. You know, Yahweh Shema Shah speaking about uh, the recompense to all them that hate us. You know, that even goes to two thirds of the children of Israel because they hate them that rebuke in the gate. I want to make that point too. They hate them that rebuke in the gate. So, but also. We're rebuking in the name of Yahweh Shema Shai because going back to what we read, that mercy of the Lord, Jeremiah 444, 4, you know, sending his prophets, rising up early, telling them, oh, please don't do this abominable thing that the Lord hate. So, and that goes into the scripture that we, we brought out earlier today as well, man. Uh, he that despises you despises me. You know, we got we to gotta go get that word. We got to go get that. Hold on, bro. We got to go get that. Right, so you, you know, the church speaks about how they hate them that rebuke it in the gate, but we're just saying what the Lord say, told us to say. We're speaking the words of the Lord. If a man should speak, let him speak as the oracle of the Lord. Right? 
And the, the words of the Lord is telling you, children of Israel, don't do the things that the Lord hate. But you hate that we're telling you that the Lord hates it. You know, it's like what does Shriver say in the book of Isaiah? Am I, am my mind moving too fast, bro? Hold on. <laughs> Let me go get it. The Isaiah 30. Shit. Uh Okay, it's Isaiah 30. Or is it 31? Hey! Uh, I'm, I'm in the NIV too, you know, so hold on. Give me a second, bro. Is it 30 and 19? Is it 29? Hold on, I, I I don't think I can get it in this in this. Um... Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Let me get it in this. Let me get it over here real quick. So I want to make sure I get this thing over here. What's up, bro? Uh... Get you get ye out of the way. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, remember I condemn your ass because you don't believe in the one true living God. This, 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 this Jake over here. This, uh, this is from the Northern Kingdom over here. He over here talking about some Jesus, 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 and we're not here. And that's what I'm about to bring up right here. Um, that's th Isaiah chapter 30, verse 11. Now he coming up here, you know, because I rebuked him. See, he asked me if I'm a Jew. Why? Cause he didn't even look into it. I told I told the brother he been coming walking past here. He been coming up here, passing the passing the signs that we the Israelites. Of course, he heard he heard about us on YouTube and stuff. People act like they don't know. He said I call him a faggot. Yeah. <laughs> Effeminate, bro. Look, this is a book of uh, this is a book of Isaiah chapter thirty, verse eleven. Hold on. Let's let's start at Isaiah chapter 30 verse 9. He said, I'm gonna be judged. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 9. This is a rebellious people. Rebellious. All he's talking about, he's all in his feelings. You call me a faggot. Look, this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. They will not hear the law of the Lord. You know, if we tell if I tell this guy, the Lord said, you're not supposed to shave your beard off your face. He gonna find out. He gonna uh, what does it say? The strip. What does people say? A wicked man will find out every excuse. Oh no, no. Lord say the law done away with oh, any kind of shit. Does Why? Because this is a rebellious back. people. There, here he goes again with the feminine ass. Oh, You're calling me a faggot, man. Please leave. Please go. Please go, Jake. Well, stay right there, then. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not. They're telling the prophets, hey, don't, 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 don't say that. Don't, don't tell us the truth. And, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. Prophesy lies. Prophesy deceit. That's what they want to hear. Smooth shit. They don't want to be cursed out. They don't want to be rebuked. They want somebody to color them and hold their fucking hand like Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, the devil that the Bible speaks of, who uh, speaks soft, smooth words to them, but wars in their heart at the same time. You know what I'm saying? That's what they want because they trust in oppression. They love this wicked ass world. You know? We say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. Get ye out of the way, turn aside, out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease. From before us. No, they don't want the one true living God. They want this. Hold on. I want the God that you're, you're, you're they don't. To they don't want this. They don't want the one true living God, the austere man, the man of war. They want this faggot ass motherfucking cracker right here. That's who. That's their God. Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race. That's their God right there, right, bro? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's not about a picture. It's that's your meat. God. It's not, it's not Everything that you represent meat. and you believe is it, under that that, you, that spirit you, right you, there. You don't, what do you want out here? What do you want? What do you want? Do you want me to apologize to you? Is that what you come back for? Because you definitely don't want to hear the word. You're not here to repent, are you? I'm inappropriate. I'm doing my job, bro. What's your job? To rebuke them in the gate. 
You've been rebuked, you've been condemned. Because the name of Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shah. Because I, I talk scripture to you, all of a sudden, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. That's what he screamed out for your car. This dude like, said he talked scripture to me. I did. You didn't want to hear Bro, it. Bro, get out of here. Please I gave, leave. I gave you exact scripture. Please I leave. Hope these people listen, hear that. He can't, he can't, he can't. Okay, look, let's go back. We're going to close it out. Like I said, we're going to close it out with Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, right? The wisdom of this world, the things that you think you know, you know, what you've been taught by this plantation Christianity, you know, all this, it, it, that was a beautiful example of it right there. They will not hear the word of the Lord. You know, we're telling them we're the Israelites. They're still going on with this, with this misconception in their own mind about who the Lord is, that he loves everybody, on and on and on. You know, they will not, they don't know, they don't know. But for us, those are the household of faith. You know, thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. That's right, man. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, bro. That's right, man. The Lord has blessed us to come back. To, to what? Coming back to the, to the words we were speaking about. Being made separate, being made holy. You know? Pure mind. You know? Understanding the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And being separate, you know, can two walk together unless they be agreed, you know, uh, be not unequally yoked with non-believer, you know, get the get get the, get the hell away from around here, bro. I don't want to talk about your guy, talk to your damn retarded boy. Woo! But let him glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, bro. Like we were just talking, speaking about this, uh, these effeminate jakes that trust in oppression. That would not hear, you know, the warning. The warning's out. We talking about the children of Israel. We talking about the. I got signs over there about the MERK and everything. All this motherfucker talking about. Like, you call me a faggot, you know? That damn effeminate man. Oh damn! And I was just speaking about how the other dude walking down the street, all the feminine and shit, wearing fucking hot pants and shit. Then this nigga walking around here, a smooth ass, goddamn smooth up. Oh man. These jays are through, bro. But let him that glorieth glory in this. That he under but it's it's up, it starts up there, bro. Just believe it, man. But once again, it's not up to them. It's up to Yahweh Shimasha, bro. Which once again goes back into the Lord's making us separate and, ho and holy. Being thankful for this word of truth. So Lucky, I keep breaking the scripture. Come on, let's let's finish it. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understand and knoweth me. That I, the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, that I am the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, which executed loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah. In these things I delight, man. But I want to I want to end it off on 2 Timothy. We can't wait, man. We, and that's what we're talking about. Sign and crying for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. Knowing this. Oh, no, wait, wait, hold on. I'm in 1 Timothy. I got to go to 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy 1, 9. Let's, let's, let's uh, start at 7. It says, For Yahweh Shemasha has not given us the spirit of fear, okay, but of power, bro. The, yes, the Lord has given us His power. We spoke about that power later on, early on in the week. You know uh, how uh, we're gonna receive this power in the last days. We're gonna, you know, the Lord's gonna blow His breath of life into us. We're gonna receive power, this this uh, spiritual power, um, this uh, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, the Holy Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive. That's power. So we have not received the spirit of the world, but with spirit, the spirit of the Lord, man. Okay. We have not, for Yahweh Shemashah has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. You know? A sound mind, bro. But not, it says, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Don't be ashamed. You know, we already we spoke about how, you know, at least you repent, you shall all likewise perish. The Lord don't like these things. These, these are the things that the Lord hates. You know, these guys think it's some kind of joke or some kind of game, or they could think the way they want to think. 
or they can continue just to go on. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm such and such. I, I believe this. It's okay if you believe that, but I believe this. I'm gonna stand on my shit. You know, they think it's something. You know, you gotta find out, bro. Think somebody just out here just for the hell of it. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, bro? They're not. They have no fear. They understand not that not that they do evil, bro. But they're gonna they're gonna find out the hard way. Let them ask the strip proclaim, you know. Then they're gonna be in a pitiful case. Okay? So let's let's finish this and close it out. It says, Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh Shemasha, who have called us. This is the point right here in verse 9. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. Who have called us? Salaki, who have saved us, should I say? Saved us. Saved us. And called us with a holy calling, bro. Not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. Right. Thy will be done. Thy kingdom done. For his name's sake, bro. Okay. That's why we be praying, open that we endure to the end. The Lord said, hold that fast what thou have, that no man take thy crown. Right? right. Not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Yahweh before the world began. Right. That predestination. And, we, and that's why we'd be hoping and praying to be a part of that number. And that's why we're going to, speaking about being separate, being holy in these last days, man. You know, all these things the Lord has done for us, bro. Not, we're not, we, didn't, we didn't do this. The Lord did this. This is His Spirit that's doing this. And we're, we're so thankful to be, you know, that vessel of Yahweh Shemashah, Lord willing, that vessel of honor. Lord willing, we're going to endure to the end, you know. This is a very happy times, bro. We just have to continue on to endure these things. And, you know, if the Lord be with us, who can be against us, man, at the end of the day? Okay, we're, we're going to be going through it. We're going to have a little few battles and little thing to happen in us. Don't be affected. Don't let that shit affect us. You know, like that guy was going off, man. Fuck that guy. And, and the tooth, all of them, all man. You know, we, we still understand that they're Israelites and stuff. But they got to they gotta get it, man. They're going to get it, bro. And that's just the will of the Lord. That's the having the mind of the of Yahweh by in the last in the last in these last days. Being on one accord with the Lord. Like I keep quoting Mysteries of the Kingdom because that was a beautiful live camp they had, you know. He was speaking about uh, you know, I think he was talking about some movie or something about how you know when you're on one accord with somebody, you know somebody, and we the Lord has blessed us to come back and get to know him. You know, to put on that garment. You know, to all be, you know, to be ready for when, when he returned. Those five wise virgins. We know you have a So we're going to be with him when these things take place. Not against him or with the world or nothing like that. We're going to be with you. How about Shemashah? Cheering him on. He's going to appear, like the scripture says, he's going to appear to our, let's go, get, gotta, we're going to close it out on that. I think it's uh, Isaiah 66 verse 5. He shall appear to your shame. To, uh, so like he, he shall appear to your joy, but they should be ashamed. Something like that. Come on, Isaiah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's Isaiah chapter sixty six, verse five. He says, Ooh, it says at the top, God com comforts the humble with marvels. It says, hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, ye that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hated you, you know, they don't like us. Right, like that guy, that guy didn't like me. You know, they, they be talking about how they love, love, love and shit. But, you know, no, they don't hate us. Why? Because the just is an abomination to the wicked and the wicked are an abomination to the just. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, the Lord has pitted two and two against each other. The sinner against the godly and the godly against the sinner, you know. So we're, we're not the same. Hear the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, ye that tremble at his word, your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. They're going to be ashamed, bro, in that day. You know? So, man, Lord willing, brothers and sisters, that was edifying and exhorting. And the water, Yahweh Shemashah, so much, man, for the spirit to come out here on the highways and hedges to bring it out for this live camp. So with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, 
all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikach, Winash. Want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word, follow the land wherever it goes. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, y'all.